Hi, I'm Melissa Muir. Welcome back for another Weekend Jewelry School. In this class, we are continuing our education and setting up a jeweler's bench and a studio. Well, one of the most important things you can have in your studio is going to be light and magnification. And I don't know about you guys, but as I get older, magnification is certainly something that's needed. And then I've also had a couple of different eye surgeries, and I find that I need a lot more light than what I needed before those surgeries as well because lighting and magnification are so important in the studio, Durston and I have again partnered together to bring you four new great products. Now two of these products have magnification in addition to lighting and the other two are some wonderful task lighting. Let's take a look to see at all the different options. So the first one is going to be the professional magnifier light. This one's kind of nice because you can mount this to your bench. So it comes in different versions like UK, EU, and of course the US version. And that just identifies like the plug and the power source that you're going to have with that. So when we open this up, everything is packed very well in styrofoam. So as you can see, everything is packed in here pretty well. It's all covered, so hopefully there's no damage during the shipping. Really with the way that they've packaged mine, I can't see how that would even be the case. There's also a little instruction sheet in here that gives you a little bit of that information. So let me get this unpacked and I'll show you guys how to set everything up. So once you have everything unwrapped, this is kind of what it looks like. So notice that we actually have two lenses here. We have a five diopter and an eight diopter lens. In addition, you've got your plug with a little transformer on it. And I wanna point out a couple of different things. So here at the bottom, we have a post. Now it also comes with a clamp so that you can put this onto your bench. It also has a very wide opening, which is great for those of us that maybe have a thicker bench, but it also fits wonderfully on those that maybe are a little thinner. So what you do is you just take this and attach it onto your bench. Now there's a hole right here that is going to allow you to insert the peg of your lamp. Now like I said, this is on a spring so you want to be kind of cautious when using that and you can just place it into here. Now another thing I want to mention about this, because you have this long peg, what some people have done in the past is they will actually just drill a hole in their bench that is the same size as this peg and then they can insert that into their bench and that will hold it sturdy as well. So you actually have a couple of options. So let's talk a little bit about operating this lamp. Now there is a knob up here that you can turn and that will allow you to tilt and twist this in whichever direction you need. Now the twist is gonna happen regardless of how tight you have this, but you can lock that so that it does not tilt as much. On the bottom here is where we have our power button. Now the power button is going to go through a range of different lights. So the first one, and it gets brighter, 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 and then finally you turn it off. So the settings on this are 25, 50, 75, and then 100% and off. And that's how you can adjust to how much light you have from that light. Now when it comes time to change this lens out, I highly suggest you do this where you've got it protected, maybe underneath so that you don't happen to drop your lens. But what you do is you just take that and you twist it counterclockwise and then you are able to bring in your other lens. There are some little notches here on the bottoms that matches up with notches on the lamp, just like that. And then you're gonna twist it clockwise to lock that into place and now you're ready to go. One of my favorite things about this swing arm lamp is that I can keep things either extremely low or I can even bring it up quite high. It just depends on what I need to have and where I need to position this. And because it is a swing arm, we actually have quite an extended reach, at least three to four feet. Now the next two task lamps are desktop lamps, meaning that they are going to just sit on your desk. And again, you can reposition things wherever you want so that they are the best for you. Now you'll notice here that one is open and we have a closed one. Well the closed one has a special little secret. There's a magnifier in here and you have an additional high magnification spot. To operate this you simply click on the power button and it will move you through low to bright light. Now this is a 7 watt task lamp. 
Let's take a look here at the other lamp that we have. Now this is an eight watt and we have an additional feature. First of all, you can look through the lamp itself to see whatever you're working on. So that way you've got some really good lighting all over your entire item. Again, to turn this on, I'm going to click the power button and as I progress through, I'm going to go through a couple of intensities of light before I turn off. Now, in addition to turning my power on and off and adjusting the brightness of the light, we can also change the color temperature of our light. We can go into a very warm, into a daylight, and then also into kind of a neutral light situation. You can also operate that at the different intensities of light. To work this lamp, it's very, very simple. There is the plug. All you do is plug this in here, the other end into your wall, and you are ready to go. Now for the final task lamp on this one, I've actually had some experience. Those of you guys who watched any of my live YouTube or Instagram feeds while we were at JCK in June may remember seeing this lamp. Now this lamp I really like because of its very thin profile, but again, it's extremely flexible. So once again, you can see everything is packaged well. You have your instructions, but the instructions are really, really simple. So in this box here, we have our power cord as well as the clamp for mounting this onto our tabletop. To help protect your tabletop, they have given you a couple of pads. And this is a sticky one so that you can just put this onto your, on the bottom of your table or whatever you want to do. But what you'll do is just put this on here and tighten it to screw just like you would a C-clamp. All we need to do is slip this into the base. Now you guys, this is extremely lightweight. I mean, it weighs nothing at all, hardly. So I just need to slip this in here. Screw. There is a little screw back here where once I've got it into position, I can kind of lock that in if I really want to. One of the things I really like about this particular lamp is that it is extremely flexible and I can adjust this to put it wherever I need to and in whatever position. So just to show you really quickly, again, to operate this, we have the power button, and then you can go through different intensities of light. You can also change your color temperature, and you can do that while you have the different intensities of light. And the best part is it's an LED and only seven watts, so you're not worrying about a lot of heat coming off of these or anything like that. So now we've seen four great options that are available from Durston. What kind of lamp do you need? Are you somebody that needs just some extra lighting? Do you need it in a bar or is a round light going to give you enough illumination? Do you need some magnification? Do we need to have something where we have quite a bit of reach or can you get away with something that might be a little bit more localized? Hopefully this gives you a few things to think about. So where can you buy these? Well, my favorite, of course, is toolcandystore.com, and that's in partnership with MicroTools. But these are also available through AutoFry and Rio Grande. So there's a number of different places that you can find these great lamps. If you like these videos and find them helpful, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you ring that bell so that you get notifications when I come out with new videos. And we have some really fun things coming up very soon that you are not going to want to miss. Also be sure to give a thumbs up and we will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful weekend.